back, everyone. The Workforce Connection of Central New Mexico works tirelessly to help New Mexicans find work in a time of need. They have close to 30 programs and partners who come together to help deliver services through five New Mexico workforce centers. Now, during COVID-19, things have been a little difficult for them and for folks here in New Mexico to try to find work. So I spoke with the New Mexico Workforce Connections Communications Manager, Augusta Myers, as to what they're doing differently during the pandemic and how they're trying to help New Mexicans find the work they need. Joining us this morning, we have Augusta Myers with the New Mexico Workforce Connection. She's the Communications Manager. Good morning. Good morning, Crystal. Thanks for having me on. You bet. Thank you so much for joining us, Augusta. Uh, I'm excited about this topic because at this time, there's a lot of people that have been furloughed or they're unemployed and businesses are struggling because of COVID-19. Before we get into all of that, can you just tell me uh, briefly what Workforce Connection does when it comes to sure. helping out those in our state? Absolutely. The New Mexico Workforce Connection, or I should say the Workforce Connection of Central New Mexico, is a robust network of programs that provides employment and career services to thousands of individuals in the Fort County region right here in the middle of the state. They have close to 30 programs uh, and partners who come together to deliver services through five New Mexico Workforce Connection centers. Um, the past four months, this model of service delivery has changed, as you might imagine, to virtual services. And um, so right here in the central region, as I was saying, we provide, we connect individuals to pathways that lead to well-paying in-demand careers through employment and educational opportunities. We also assist businesses with finding qualified candidates by assisting with recruitment needs and supporting a continuous talent of pipeline that meets the needs of the employers in the industries in our local communities. So we've been doing a lot of virtual stuff. Um, and, and while you know we work closely with the Department of Workforce Solutions, we're not the same entity. And I know that's kind of confusing for people, but sometimes it's worth mentioning. Oh, absolutely. Uh, can you tell me how you guys have shifted things because of COVID-19? Sure. As I mentioned, we quickly had to pivot in March to provide virtual services efficiently and effectively to tens of thousands of individuals who found themselves either laid off or furloughed, um, you know, who, or were significantly impacted by COVID-19, as you said earlier. Uh, and so we've had to deliver kind of a rapid virtual response uh, to our immediate, immediate hiring needs. Some of those things that we've done, we've hosted live and recorded online recruitment events to offer a variety of job searches and, um, and workshops to help people out there. But we've provided multiple communication options, including phone, text, video conferencing for personalized career and counseling services. Um, we continually work closely with the training providers and educational institutions to have an inventory of courses and cert certifications that are offered either online or limited capacity so we can connect individuals with these educational opportunities. So we've basically gone virtual with all of our services. You know, a lot of our viewers, maybe as I mentioned at the beginning of this, be stuck in kind of limbo. Uh, what do you have coming up to help them as they try to seek employment? Sure, well, we've got um, some different workshops to offer people during the week. Um, we've got a resume writing workshop. We've also got an interview skills workshop. As I mentioned, we've had lots of recruiting events for different companies in our area. Um, National Roofing has another recruiting event tomorrow, and we've done one for APD. We've done, we've done all kinds of recruiting events, and we find that these are really successful as a, from a virtual platform, believe it or not. You know, I, I know that the center is closed at this time because of COVID-19. So, so how do people seek your services? Well, our in-person services are closed, but they can call us at our main number at 505-843-1900. They can even email us at nmworkforceconnection at wccnm.org. And I believe that's up there on the screen. They can also, probably the best way, if they could follow us on social media for all the latest updates and announcements. We've got an NM Workforce Instagram page. We've got Workforce Connection of Central New Mexico for Facebook. Um, YouTube is Workforce Connection of Central New Mexico, and then a, a Twitter page as well. But that's where they can find all of these, um, like the days and times for our recruiting events, for our workshops, or all, they can find those listed on our social media sites, as well as some interesting videos to help them get started. You know, some great insight at a time when a lot of New Mexicans are really needing help. Augusta, I want to thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you, Crystal. For a full recap of that interview or details on how you can reach Workforce Connection, go to our website that's always on krqe.com. 